Hi. In this session, we will see how to use local users and groups on Windows XP machine. Local users and groups manages users and groups of users for your computer. You can create new users and groups, add users to groups, remove users from groups, disable users and group accounts, and reset the passwords. In order to achieve all this, you have to open the computer management console. To open computer management, click start, click control panel, click uh, performance and maintenance, go to administrative tools and there you will find a shortcut computer management. Double click it. This will open a computer management console wherein on the tree you can see a lot many other options here. You can also check that this computer management console is rightly connected to the local machine. You can also manage remote machines from this console. To do so you have to just right click, say connect to another computer, give the name of computer and it will connect to the remote machine. And you will be able to manage the machine remotely from your local machine. Ok now let us go to the local users and groups from the console tree you can see that there are two folders in here users and groups so it is very simple all of the users of this computer are created under users group and all of the groups gets into the groups folder in here let us expand this so if we click the users folder it opens up and you can see that there are four users in here one is administrator and rest three are guest help assistant and support underscore 38 blah blah now let us learn how to create a new user to create a new user right click users folder and say new user give a username in here I'll say I'll give a username as Nancy dot Brown give the full name of the user and set a password for it. You need to confirm the same password in the next box and preferably uncheck the user must change password at next logon. If you are communicating this password to the user and if you wish like user should be changing the password you can keep this check. Click create button and you can keep on adding as many users as you wish like. Once you are done click close and you see that the user which you have created is now appearing under the users folder. Okay so we are done with creating a user let us get into groups. So these are by default some groups which are already available on my XP machine. Let me go and create another group create a group it is very simple right click groups folder say new group and I'll say storage admins I'll click create button keep on creating as many groups you wish like for this machine once you're done click close and you see the storage admin appears in here. Oops, I did the typo. I went, I'll go in here, press F2, change the name, correct the spelling and say enter. Now it just appears correctly. Storage admins. Now if I wish like adding Nancy to the storage admin groups, what do I do? I'll right click storage admin, go to properties, click add, select user dialog box comes in I type in the name click check names it resolves so once it resolves it will underline the name click OK click OK again now Nancy is the member of storage admin group similarly you can see in over here 
the description of the default groups created. Administrators group is by far the most powerful group of all of these groups. So if a user is in the administrators group, he is having almost all of the privileges to run around this computer and make whatever changes he or she wishes to. So if I wish like adding Nancy to administrators, I'll right click administrators group, go to properties. In the administrator properties, go to add, write the name of the user you wish like making administrator on this machine click ok and you're done similarly if you wish like removing nancy from the storage admin go to its properties highlight the user click remove click ok and you're done also if you wish like like say for example nancy forgot her password and she comes to you that can you help me change the password? So if you are already an administrator on this machine, you can right click the account name and say set password. Click the proceed button and type in the new password for an NC. Click OK and it will say the password has been set. Click OK, you are done. Say there is a scenario when NC and NC leaves off and she is no longer using this machine. So you can disable her account by right clicking it, go to properties and checking account is disabled checkbox. If you click OK, the account, the red color cross appears against the user account. This means that these account have been disabled. You can see that four accounts are disabled in here. This is just to make sure, like say for example, if Nancy is on a vacation for two months, nobody else should be logging into this machine using her account. So we are done. Uh, now you fairly know how you can create new users in groups, add users to groups, and then remove users from the groups, how you can reset the password, and how you can disable the accounts. Thanks for watching.